Okay, boys and girls, now that our Pete the Cats have been drawn and completed, we're going to work on painting our Pete the Cats to add some color. You have your watercolor paint tray, just like we worked on last week. We have our brush and our water. We have our paint. We have our tray with our wet rag to wipe our hands on. So we remember from last week, to make our paint to work, our watercolor paint, we need to take our brush and dip in the water and then swish, swish, swish in a color to make that color work. So if I wanna use blue to make my Pete the Cat blue, I'll swish one, two, three, four, five times in the blue, then I have enough blue to start to paint my Pete the Cat. Now when we paint our Pete the Cats, boys and girls, remember our brushes are going very slowly and we're working with the tippy, tippy, tippy top of the brush. I want you to imagine that your brush is like a ballerina. She's dancing on her tippy toes and she's gliding across the page. She's never, ever, ever scooting on her bottom like this. We want to make sure she's just dancing very carefully on her tippy toes. And when we're painting our Pete the Cats today, I would love to see boys and girls staying inside of your lines. This is kind of like coloring in a coloring book. We want to stay inside of the lines that we drew so that we don't have our colors going all over the place. We want to see Pete the Cat very easily here. So I'm going to be painting my Pete the Cat blue because in the story he is a blue cat. You can choose to paint your Pete the Cat whatever color you like. Now, painting is not going to be perfect, boys and girls. If my color goes outside of my line a little bit, that's okay. But I'm trying my best to keep the paint inside of the lines. Dancing on the tippy toes. Okay, I think I'm going to switch to red. So what do I have to do? I have to dip my paintbrush in the water, get all that blue off, and then I can swish in my red. One, two, three, four, five. I know that Pete the Cat in the story has red shoes, so I'm gonna just carefully paint those shoes red. All right, let's see. Um, I'm gonna start to paint Pete the Cat's face. So I know in the story he has yellow eyes, so I'm gonna take some yellow and just paint those eyes a little bit yellow. And then I'm gonna switch to red, give him a little tiny red nose. And then I think the rest of his face is gonna be blue for me, so I'll carefully start to paint the rest of his face blue. Now, boys and girls, when you finish painting Pete the Cat, then you can work on painting the things around Pete the Cat. You can paint your grass down below. If you drew a sun in the sky, you can paint the sun yellow. You can paint your tree brown if you drew a tree. If you drew some other details, think about what color you think they might be in real life. I think I'll switch to green and I'll start to paint my green grass down below. So when I am finished with my Pete the Cat, boys and girls, I wanna make sure there is no white paper showing. I have tried my best to paint every spot of this picture so that it looks complete and finished. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys work on your paintings now.